Okay guys, how's she going today? So we have a cat category five hurricane going on again. No, literally, it's really freaking windy out. Extremely windy. I even had to go go find my uh, go find my burn barrel lid there. It flew off, so I had to go find it. Luckily, it was over there somewhere there on my property there. So. Look at that shit. Look at that nutsy freaking crap. <clears throat> Just windy as frig out. Nice out though, but windy. So. Freaking windy bullshit. Whew. I'm surprised the power hasn't gone out yet. Probably will. But anyways. Um, <clears throat> I'm a little bit surprised here because my uh, Harbor Freight order showed up. And I didn't think this was, this was going to show up uh, for another for another week. I, I ordered it. It only took about a week to get here. Because I think I ordered it about a week ago. Yeah. Because I think I ordered it last week. Last last Sunday, I think it was, I ordered it. It had to have been about a good week, week and a half anyway. It didn't, normally, the last time I ordered from them, it took them like two, three weeks. I don't know. Maybe since this, this came in a little bit bigger box, maybe they shipped it a little bit different and it got here a little bit quicker. I mean, it came by the mail, but I don't know. The last time I, or I ordered from Harbor Freight, it was just some really small stuff, and maybe that takes longer to get here. I don't know, but stupid, but whatever. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me okay over the high, the high winds, but the leaves are going to drive me mad now. Sakes. This is why I don't really bother really cleaning the shop too much because look at this shit oh that shit all those leaves and everything get rid of that light there bullshit i could put the door down but then you don't get all that good light and stuff you know not as much so anyways let's take a look here at the harbor freight order first i ordered i got one of these uh <clears throat> it's a uh, 10 pack, 10 rolls of heavy duty electrical tape. As you can see there, it's got it's got 10 rolls in there. I was gonna get two of these, but I figured eh, one should be enough because I only had about half a roll left. So I figured, well, this is and this had had decently good reviews on it, so I'm gonna give it a try. I normally just get my electrical tape at the hardware, and I just get like one roll of it. But I figured, eh, might as well get, you know, something that's, get, get something that'll last me a little wee while for, you know, stuff. Of course, each roll is 60 feet, you know, so there's, there's quite a bit here. There's quite a bit here. I think this is actually Harbor Freight tape, though, you know. So this, this is no, no other brand, this is Harbor Freight kind of tape, I guess. We'll try it. Well, I won't be trying it anytime soon, but because I still got half a roll left on the other stuff there that I got our hardware hank, so figured uh, why not get this? And I forgot too that when I ordered this stuff, I forgot. Well, I still got. I had to order a half. I got to order the, the cable for the antenna. So I don't know if I'll get to that next this month coming up or next month. That was only twelve dollars for that one hundred foot wire, though. I forgot about that. But I, I just, I just couldn't pass this up, so I figured why not? Yeah, so I got one of those. One of those, it's, you know, compared to my hand, it's pretty, you know, ten of them. Then I got two of these. Now I did not, re uh, I knew that they were going to be long, but I didn't think they'd be this long. But I guess you know, you know whatever. I got some zip ties, one hundred piece, but these are eleven inches. I guess I could have gotten away with something a little smaller. I can't remember. I can't remember what what my other ones were because I threw when I cut the lid off. I threw this part away. So, and I got the the, the other ones that I had bought. In, they were from Norton Tool, and they no longer make that kind anymore. They have other kinds now. So I don't know exactly what size they were. But these actually look a lot more heavy dutier than the ones I had. So these are from. I like guess storehouse. 
And these had these had pretty good reviews. There was another one that I was looking at but didn't have any reviews. I was like, well, I don't really want to buy anything that doesn't have any have any reviews on it yet. <clears throat> so Yeah. Save these warnings. Huh. But yeah, so I got two of those. Got two of those. See? So I got 200 here. And uh, that should last me a while. The other pack that I had, I I did throw the bag in there, but I, whatever. But I, yeah, like I said, I got those at Norton Tool. They were they were also a 100 100 pack, but they were shorter ones. Um, but I didn't have any more left. So that was it. I had like maybe 10 left, and I used them used them all up when I was running the the LED, the LED lights for Big Red, the warning lights. So I used all those up. So I was like, well, I got I got to get me some damn more of these. So I just picked up two of these. Um, and yes, all this stuff. I even have one more thing here. I got to show you too. But everything that I bought here had a coupon. So I got like I think I got a dollar off for these. I think I got a dollar off for that. And then this other item I'm going to show you. I think I got I think I got like ten dollars off it or something like that. I can't remember. But yeah, so I got two of these. <clears throat> and then this other item here, I probably didn't really need it, but I think more come winter, I'm probably going to need it. And other stuff, it's just better to buy it than not, you know. And then I bought one of these. I can't really get it all in the picture, but it's a heat gun. Um, we're going to actually crack this open and fire it up. It hasn't been, hasn't been opened yet or nothing, but... <clears throat> I figured, you know, we had we had that frozen pipe issue, but I think I know what 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 uh, went wrong there. But I think it's just better to uh, it's, just, it's just better to have one of these on hand. It's just, it's just for stripping paint, remove decals, uh, shrink wrap wires, you know, loosen loosen fittings. Hmm, could have used that when I was freaking uh, messing with the water with the washer. <laughs> Uh, thaw pipes, that's what I mostly bought it for and more, but mostly it's going to be for the thawed pipes, the frozen pipes. And, of course, the glare, so I'll get my thumb out of the way. If you guys can read that, uh, let's see here, I don't know if this camera's focusing or not too well, but, <clears throat> yeah, six-foot power cord. Yeah, that's just a brand. So on, it's got two heat settings. I think on setting one, it pulls six point six point six amps, and and on high, it'll pull twelve point one amps. So, but we probably won't be using number two. We'll probably just be using number one mostly. So, um, just for you know, mostly probably for on thawing pipes. But yeah. Then this got decently good views. I think it got a four point four out of four four out of five. So I think it's pretty good. I think anything over three stars probably you know a three star is decent, but I'd rather be for a four or five. Then I know it's you know of decent quality. And I think this got a four. I think yeah, I think it got a four out of five. I don't know. I'm gonna put the links to everything below so you guys can just play around with with that and look for yourself. So, but I will, if I, I should have the links, yeah, I can just go on the Harbor Freights there and pull the links off, off the, <clears throat> off the, you know, search history thing, or the buy history. So we'll crack into this, I don't want to, I'm not going to damage the box, because it's going to go right back in the box, because it's probably not going to be using it anytime soon. But we got to test it to make sure it's defective, or it's just working, it's not defective, or something stupid like that. What was that? Oh, it's just... I don't get this. Where the hell do these come from? Little bits and pieces. Oh, I bet you're right there, yeah. When you put the loopy thing in, this loopy part, they knock that little section out. <clears throat> they knock this little section out, but they don't bother to throw it away. They just throw it in the damn box. Unless it's just the way they packaged it, then it falls in the box. I don't know. Don't matter. This is the... The book for it, how to operate the thing. Of course, they threw it in there all 
stupid like. But whatever. <clears throat> I guess it just shows you what to do. Um, troubleshooting. <clears throat> it just shows you the amperage it'll pull. I don't know why they show here that it has three, has the triple plugins, whereas this one just has the dual plugins. So I don't get that, but I guess it'll work in either one. Well, that's the way I've always done it. I mean, I have things that only have the double plugins, and I plug them into a triple plugin thing, you know. So I think that third plugin on the power cords are just like a grounding thing. So this doesn't have it. Box. Oh, baby. Eh, it's not that big like I thought. It's actually, ah, it's decent. It's good, decent size. And that's that's what I like. Very light, very freaking light. Wow, this doesn't even weigh anything. Holy crap! Oh, mine's red. Oh, that sucks. Well, on the on the website, it showed that there was like a clear plastic thing over it. I don't know what. You know, I kind of like that plastic look. This, this one doesn't have it. This looks like it's just, this thing's been sitting around for a little while. You don't think it would get dirty being in a plastic or in the box. But, uh, whatever. Yeah. Very light. Of course, I mean, there's nothing really to it, so it really shouldn't be that heavy. So, we'll plug her in here and do a little fire up test to make sure she's working. Out of all out of all the years I've ordered stuff, I've never really gotten defective stuff. So, you know, I guess there's a first for everything. But you know, you just make your you just make your damn claim and be like, well, just send me another one. You know, they usually want like if if you have a defective part, they'll, they'll either try to give you another one, or you can just ask for your money back. I will either get another one you know because I because I kind of want you know what I, what I need so six foot power cord that's yeah, pretty long I think I'm a, I would be okay with that I mean you can put it on an, on an extension cord if you had to just make sure it's above 13 amps obviously so I'll do we'll, we'll do notch one okay and you can smell it burning. <clears throat> Getting hotter. It's pretty good. Now this is this notch one, by the way. So. Oh, it's fucking hot. Oh yeah, that could definitely... I could definitely, uh, oh yeah, I would definitely untie your pipes, even on just notch one. It takes a lot of power though, I noticed that the lights kind of go down a little bit. I kind of seen some smoke coming out of it, but that's just a break in period. See her, see her smoking? She's on fire, boys! Woo! She's on fire. Well. That's kind of, I guess, typical for them being brand new. And I bet you that damn thing there is hot as hell, too. I ain't even going to freaking touch it. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Oh, yeah, you definitely could uh, unthaw a pipe with that. Yeah, I'm warming up my vice, my vice here. I'm just testing it out. Now well, that's steel, so it's never really gonna get warm anyway. But and I guess it just pulls air from the back and the sides here, pretty much. Pretty quiet too. It's not that loud. Of course, it's only on notch one too, right?
And of course, I guess if you had to, you could hold it with both hands in case you got a, you know, you know, someone, right? So, almost like a freaking machine gun. Like the way you hold it like this is like holding a machine gun. Oh yeah, Notch 1 would definitely on top of Frozen 5, that's for sure. Still smoky. Still smoking. Whew. You can definitely smell her cooking though, but you know, it's typical for them being new and all, so. Probably could have gotten a used one, but eh, you can't trust the used things. 120 volt. Indoor use only. Yeah, I don't plan on ever using it outdoors anyway, so. And I don't and I don't plan on removing the stickers, so I ain't gonna worry about that. It's got the serial number. Stamped here. Well not stamped well stamped in the sticker, so. Pretty cool. Dual temperature heat gun. And I and I guess uh if any of you guys follow Moss Man 381, I believe. He got himself another pickup truck. Uh, he traded. He traded in his. Not traded. He he sold his S10 and he got a different one. And he didn't like the chrome decals on the side, so he used a heat gun and heated it up. I think he had a different one though. I'm not sure what it was. I, I never asked, but, but it is probably pretty close to this. They're all the same anyway. They all do the same thing. Oh yeah, she's hot. She's hot. Don't touch that, boys. Look at that. That's hot. Warming the vice up a little bit. If your if your hands are ever cold and you got one of these, just put it in front of your hand a little bit. I don't know how these things work though. I don't know how they make that kind of heat. I don't get it, but I mean it sounds like there's a, there's a motor inside, obviously. But what does it do to make it heat up? That's something I want to know. It probably would say in the book. I mean, is it just... Can't be just... be Can't be friction, so... I don't know. I guess I could, I could Google it, but if, if one of you guys want to tell me, you can. I don't care. So, still smoking. Now, let's try Notch 2 now here. Woo! Notch 2! It takes a lot of power when you go on notch too, though. Oh, boy. I think it pushes it further out, too. No, it's the same. Ooh, that's fucking hot. Yeah, when you put it on high, you can definitely smell it. She's cooking a little bit, so. Ooh. I think they were saying something, too, about a, about a cool-down period, too. They're supposed to run for, if you have it on high, or on, on, yeah, on high, you're supposed to put it on the low and let it run for, like, a minute or two or something on low, I believe. Just to let the inside cool down a little bit. That wasn't on high that long anyway, so. Alright, it shows here, you can run them on an extension cord, it just shows, uh, I guess what amperage they'll draw. Apparently, uh, and this is at full load, apparently. If you're on a 25 foot cord, it'll pull 18 amps, I get, and that can't be right. Maybe. No, that's got to be the amperage right there. Well, what the hell are all those other numbers? 
Mm, you guys can look at it. I don't under, quite understand this, but this, this is your chart. So I think this is your, this would be your amperage, but I don't know what uh, the numbers are below. And you got the numbers above that, which I think are the feet of the cord. 25, 50 feet, 75, 100 feet, you know, typical, typical thing. So, I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, so. Yeah. So that's what I got. That, that's what I bought. <clears throat> so, Windy's Freak out. Windy's Freak. Yeah, it says here, the nozzle becomes very hot. Do not lay heat gun on flammable surfaces when operating the gun. Or after turning the gun off. Well, you're not, for one, it's not touching anything flammable, even though it's not touching the wood either because they put the shell. You know the back of it's so much bigger than, than than the gun, so the nozzle never touches touches anything really. So, but I guess if you were working somewhere, I guess by propane or something or gas, you know, then that would be a different problem. But you know, I don't have gas, so don't got to worry about that one too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do not abuse the cord. Never use the cord for carrying, pulling, or unplugging the power tool. Keep cord away from heat, oil, sharp edges, or moving parts. Yeah. Personal safety. Stay alert. Watch what you watch. What you are doing. Use common sense. Operating a power tool. Do not whatever whatever. I'm pretty sure. I know. I know. I watched a video on on Har on Harvard Freight. It's about the uh, uh, about the uh, cool down periods on these machines. So, well, the links will be there below, so you guys can just check on click on the links and uh, watch the videos for yourself. But that's what Daddy got. That's fucking right. That's what Daddy got. I wonder. If, I wonder if I could burn that. Where'd it go? Don't try this at home. I want to see if I can burn this little piece of grass here. Probably not. I think the heat gun will just blow it away, probably. Yeah. Just blew it away. Just blew it away. That goes nothing. Oh well. I guess if you guys get cold, I can, uh, do that to you. That's pretty cool, guys. That should uh, definitely should work for any frozen pipes. My grandma ever has gets frozen pipes. I don't think she's ever had frozen pipes. But I know when we lived at the old house, we had a lot of frozen pipes. It was freaking nuts. I always had to call the plumber all the damn time. Well, the pipes are never, they're not insulated for one thing, you know, and they're right on the floor. Cause on the on the old house at the farm, the pipes were never in the wall. They were like actually on the outside of the wall. You could actually see them. Which was a stupid way of building the house, but that's the way they did it. Yeah, and the, tem the temperatures get... Let's see here, the temperatures, so on how hot this thing will get on its settings. Low setting, 572 degrees. That's low. High, 1,112. 1,112 Fahrenheit. That's fucking hot. That's, that's 1,000 degrees. Jesus Christ. I don't know what the hell you would need to heat up for that. I guess a rusty bolt. I don't fucking know. That would be nice. This would actually be kind of cool to try. Maybe on a rusty bolt or something that was stuck. 
Cause they say they say to heat it up. Well, of course, that's not gonna get it as hot as a I guess as a blowtorch would do. But I don't have I don't have a, I don't have a blowtorch. I guess the point of the handle, this guy is, I guess, so you can hang it, hang that. It's a three-way switch, but it's only got the two main settings are low and high, but there's an off switch. Off is in the middle. Durable ABS body, which is this plastic stuff. Coil design heats more quickly and maintains even temperature. Well, so it is kind of like a almost, it's almost like a hair dryer pretty much. I think a hair dryers have coils in them. I guess that gets steam hot I guess. I don't know. Here's the item number to that I guess. I don't know if I can get that. You need to see that item number. I think that's the item number. Yeah, that's the item number. Right there. 96289. So that's what Daddy got. He got me a uh, heat gun. And I guess if I do wiring and stuff later on in life, I'll have that handy. Uh, 10 pack of electrical tape. So I'm set with that. And two packs of zip ties, so I won't buy any, any of those for probably quite some time. Ooh, it's fucking hot! Ooh! Maybe I'll, I'll wait for that heat gun to cool down before I, uh, I guess before I uh, put her back in the box. Yeah, don't touch that chrome part, that chrome part. Don't touch that. That's a no-no. Yeah, can't see my screen here. here. There's, see, I think on, on the website, they had a plastic thing over that. I kind of like that. I, I thought that was kind of neat because it kind of protected the switch a little bit, but I didn't get it on this one. Six-foot power cord, which is decently long. If I have to go longer, I got extension cords, so no big deal with that. Uh, yeah. This is going to go back in the box once it cools down because I won't be using it for a while. So, <clears throat> But we know she works. We know she works. So I'll be set for next year if we get any uh, frozen pipe bullshit again. That was the main reason why I bought this. Was for frozen pipes. But my mom thinks what happened, why we had that frozen... Why we had that frozen pipe issue was because the plastic... The foam wasn't on one of the windows very well. And well, the pipes are right next to the window. So I guess the foam was kind of open and all that cold air was blowing in, I guess. And that's why it froze, but... So we kind of corrected that, and we never really had a frozen pipe since, but, you know, you never know. And if I have, um, if I have to replace the washer hoses again, I can kind of just heat them up a little bit, you know, and they'll, they should pop right off. They say not to, not to heat those valves up because of the rubber, the rubber inside. I don't even think you'd have to heat it up a lot. I think you could just get the metal warm. Not hot. You know, maybe on there for a few seconds and let it get a little warmer. I bet you, you could probably break it free then. See, when the plumber was here, he just, he lubed them up with some kind of oil. I, I probably could have, just could have fucking used WD-40 since I'm, since I'm thinking about it. WD-40 probably would have worked too. But he sprayed it. That didn't work. So then he ended up freaking cutting into it. I, I'm going to have to show you guys the hoses. I still have them. So I might do a video on that too at some point if I remember to. And, uh, yeah, I'll have to show you guys the hoses. They were, they were done. Well, they weren't, like, rotted, but they were, they, they were seized on there. And every five years, see, it's 20, 2015 now, so in five years I'll change them again. And I should be able to do it myself now, since, since he even cleaned the threads up and stuff. And I kind of wonder maybe if I shouldn't be putting... Like, where the hoses screw up to the valves, I wonder if maybe I shouldn't put um, either pipe dope or some of this shit on them next time. Some of this plumber's tape. I wonder if that would stop them from seizing like that because 
they were bad that that day when he had to had, had to had to cut them off. If you have to cut them off, that's pretty bad. So I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys think. You think that would be the best thing to do? Like when it comes time to change them again, should I just put pipe pipe dope on them? Because it's steel going into steel, and I can't do it on the washer side because that's steel going into plastic. Well, they that's never going to seize because it's plastic. So on the washer. So. I ain't going to worry about them seizing up, but um, I'm more worried about it where it's steel on steel. Because that's, that's where they're going to, you know, corrode and stuff the most. So, so I don't know. Maybe next time I do put them on, you think I should maybe put some pipe dope on there or something? Something to, I mean, I guess it would, it, it's kind of like this stuff too, I guess. It's like, you know, plumber's tape, but more of in like a liquid form, so. I think it would be better to do that because then you would have, um, I don't know what you want to call it. There, there's protection between the two steels touching, so they're, they're, they're not, you know, touching each other. So, whatever. Now i got to clean my fucking shop out. Oh, I won't be doing it anytime soon with these kind of winds. So, <clears throat> whoa, wind. I'll give you guys an update here, too. Um... I know a lot of you guys have been watching the video on the trespassing video. And I do appreciate all the comments. I love reading them, so it's a lot of fun. And talking to all my subscribers and stuff. So, thanks for all the nice comments and stuff. Appreciate that very much. So, but I haven't heard from the uh, sheriff yet. And I think my grandma said that she would call me and let me know what was going on. He wanted my phone number too, so I don't know. But... I don't know if he gave me, well, he gave me the email address to email the video to him. So I did that. I don't know if he got it. Because I wanted to do it through, I wanted to do it right off my phone. Okay. But I couldn't do it because the file thing was too big. The video file. I said that you would have to cut it down. So I was like, okay. So I uploaded it, uploaded it to, to YouTube. And I needed to get that downloader thingy from Double Strike. He gave me the link to that. So thanks for that too as well. And I copied that to my, to my computer. So I went back into Hotmail and I tried it that way. Well, then, then they said that the video file was too big. The same thing as what happened on my phone. I was like, oh, okay. So I had to use um, Hotmail... Um, what the hell is it? OnDrive or OneDrive? Something stupid like that. Anyway, it's it gives you more memory. I guess it's like a bigger memory card. I guess I don't know. But it took my video. So, but I couldn't really give it to him. I could only share it to him. So I don't know if that, if he'll even get it. But I think if he doesn't get it, he'll call me and be like, "Hey, what's up?" You know, and I'm like, "Well, I tried to send it to you two different freaking ways, and it won't work." So, and he hasn't called me yet. So maybe he did get it. I don't know. But my grandma hasn't heard from anyone yet either, so I don't know what's going to go on with that, but if, uh, I could unplug my heat gun, huh? But I guess if he doesn't call, uh, what's going to happen is since I have the video, and I have the video still on my phone, and I got it on my computer, and I got it on YouTube, twice on YouTube, so... Because I still have the raw version of that on YouTube. But that's just on private so no one can see it. But So I, I'm going... So I got multiple ways of getting a hold of that video again. So... But what, if he doesn't do anything about it... <clears throat> the sheriff... I think what's going to end up probably happening is I'm going to most likely be calling someone that's higher than him. I probably could get away with maybe calling the FBI. But I don't know if I can go that far with that. I don't, even know if, I don't even know if the FBI would come this far up. There's no FBI around here, and they're mostly for big cities, so I don't know. So, here comes UPS. Well, I don't have nothing coming, UPS. Unless Mother's got some. I know she ordered a couple small things, but nothing I care about. Nope, going to the school. Interesting. So, yeah. If, 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 if I can, if he won't do anything about it, I may have to call, 
I don't think you can call the state police because they just deal with the interstates, so that wouldn't matter either. So I think you would have to pretty much well. I could probably, you know, I never can really get a hold of the mayor of Minnesota. Never really ever, so I don't know. But I'll figure it out. <clears throat> and I guess some of you guys are saying too that he actually threatened me multiple times. So I only, you know, honestly, the the first time when he said that one of us wasn't going to come back out of those woods or something like that, I honestly didn't even hear him say that because I was actually still talking to the other guy. But obviously you guys heard it on video, so there, there's evidence right there. But the part where he said that he was going to shove the cell phone at my ass, I heard that. So, so you know, there's 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 plenty of plenty of, of evidence there to you know get him kicked out or something. I don't even know. So I don't know, and and I do remember. I'm pretty, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty damn sure that that trail is ours because I remember putting a gate there. My grandpa's old gate was right there uh, at the south end of that trail. And I had closed it, you know, because I didn't want anyone going through it while they smashed through it. So then after that, I pulled the gate off to the side and I just started piling wood there. And I'm going to fucking do it again, too. But if I know... See, on the south side of, I call it the grain field, because that's, you know, we just mostly grow grain in that field there, that little section. On the south side of that, there's also a trail that comes up off that big hill. Or if you go down it, then you're going downhill, but um, you can see the old fence there, too. Okay? Well, where that fence is, I think I'm just going to put a whole big row of, of fence posts and then be done with it. <clears throat> I'm not going to put a gate there, because the gate... Will just get destroyed. So, I think if I put multiple fence posts in a row, and I put a uh, no trespassing and no, no no hunting sign there, it should be fine. So, hopefully, something will get done about it. But if there's enough complaints, and I guess apparently other people have been complaining too. I I never hear about it, but I guess there's been some other people complaining. I think even one time, um, the guy in the Red Ranger. He was driving through town. He had his dog running along the side of him, which is not good to do either. And apparently, someone else's dog was out wandering around in the yard. And then them two dogs, them two dogs, actually got into a fight. So then he was told to keep the damn dog tied up on the ranger or whatever. You know, keep just keep him tied up so he can't just you know wander off. You know, and he's been listening to that. So, because I, I never noticed the dog wandering around now in town. Only out in private property land, obviously. Because as, as you guys seen in the video, he, the dog was just wandering around. Which is, you know, more acceptable because he's not bothering other people. But you're still in private property land. You know, so. I don't know. I got a feeling that this is definitely going to turn around and bite him back in the ass. And he... And I think, you know, and yesterday, see, yeah, today's Monday, yesterday was Sunday, I never heard him, I never seen him drive by once. Well, you know, the thing is, he's probably, he's probably got that hangover going on. See, he's probably working today. I think he's actually a manager of a construction company or something right now. Apparently from what my sister said. I think, I don't know, I can't remember. I know one of his last jobs was, was construction. But he got, um, huh, believe this too, when he was, I think he's working at a construction company right now, but the one before, he was driving the, the truck, the, the company truck. He was driving that drunk, and he was driving it for his own personal use, putting miles on it that, that you know, that have nothing to do with the company. So he got in trouble for that, and he got fired. And then, well, then the owner of the company said, well, we'll give you a second chance, but you can't drive the truck for your own personal use. You gotta use that for company reasons only, you know, like going to the hardware or something to go get parts or, you know, to your dealer or whatever to get parts. It's a company truck. But he, but he, the guy in the Red Ranger, said that he wasn't gonna do it, wasn't gonna come back to the job, unless he got to drive the truck. 
around. Like, that's pretty goddamn stupid to say, well, I'm not going to come back to work unless I can drive the truck around. You can't drive a company truck for your own private use, you know? It's a company truck. You drive that around town or wherever you're working for your business, not for your, your you know, yourself going to the bar and then going and getting drunk on top of that. And then I think before... Or, I don't know if it was, if it was like the same truck or if it was a different truck. Apparently, he was drunk, I think, or something. And he smashed the truck right into the bar. He didn't hurt anyone, I don't think. But he's, he's got a bad a bad record. So, this guy, is, this guy is not somebody you want to fuck around with. And I know there was one guy that said that I was a pussy for not, you know, like, for not yelling back at him, you know. For you know, letting him talk like that to me. The thing is, if I wasn't alone, if I had backup, I would be talking that way to him. I would be. But the thing is, it's three versus one. So that's why I was talking calmly because I didn't want to piss them off even more. You know, you know, I'm not afraid to mouth off, you know, and let you have it. But I have to have some backup. So, and apparently my mother, of course, well, everyone in my family has watched the video besides my uncle. He don't give a shit, but. But my mom said that he watched, or she was listening to him talk. And she said that when he was yelling like that, she could hear the way his voice was sounding like he was re restraining himself from wanting to hit me. So, if he would have hit me, that would have been, well, I can't say attempted murder, but it's, it's, what it's, it's whatever it is. For hitting a person, you know, so can't think of the word, but um, you know, he'd be going to jail for hitting me, public land or not. You don't hit someone, you know, so and it, and it's not public land. It was open to the public, you know, when my grandpa retired, so they could joyride in. But see, now he's dead. He's gone. He's six feet under the fucking ground. The rules have changed. We don't allow it anymore. But I guess they didn't get the message, so... Of course, no one, no one around here does. But now they will. So, hopefully... And someone was also saying, too, to get a restraining order against him for myself in my land. I'm thinking about doing it. Not so much for myself, just mostly more for my land. So, I mean, I'm going to do it for myself, too, but... I gotta try to get my grandma involved in that too, so. But she had finally had enough of it. And she, she like I said, she, she did call the cops. He, they, he showed up, you know, so. Which is kind of surprising because they, they, they never want to show up unless it's something threatening, you know, or someone died, you know. Then they'll show up. Oh yeah, there, there he goes. Look at that guy right there in the, in the red truck. Now you, yeah, fuck, you'll miss it. See that little red truckie? Yeah, we'll get a better shot of it over here. That little red truck. Right there. That little truck. That's the first plumber that I called. The retard. I can't do his fucking job. Fucking retard. Fuck whatever. And I'm never calling him back again. Fuck that. So. I'm going to be sticking with my second plumber. Or I should say, I should say now, my main plum plumber. Because, you know, because we had, um, believe it or not, a couple days, ugh, fuck, about a week ago, our water softener kept running and running and running, and we didn't know what the hell was going on with it. Well, we called him. Well, he was, I don't know, he was busy on a job or something, and she said that she would get a hold of him and to call us back. Well, he called back, like, I don't know, 20 minutes later. And he says, oh, well, just make sure that the, the, the dial is set right here. He says sometimes what happens is that the dials will stick, like the knobs that you turn to set it, to set the time and, uh, I guess, to override the system or whatever. He says, just make sure that that's in service. Well, I looked at it, and it was stuck on rinse. So that's why it kept fucking, um, kept pushing out water. And I didn't even realize it, so... You know, for him, just, for him to call me back and just tell me, well, this is just a simple deal. That's actually a pretty damn good right there. That's actually a really good plumber. You know. And he, and he said that if it keeps happening, that then inside the dials, 
like the shafts and, and the gears and everything. He said that, that that's all going to have to get cleaned. He said that they probably get some kind of a goop in them and then they stick and then they stick. So he says if, if it keeps happening, call him back and he'll come over and clean them. And it hasn't stuck yet, so it's only been stuck that one time. And You know, like I said, we didn't know for sure what was going on. We thought maybe it blew and it was just leaking water everywhere, but... But it was, go it was going through one of the hoses into the sub pump, so the, but the sub pump kept coming on and on and on. Like, really? So, so that's, a, that's a really good plumber right there. So, I'll definitely be calling him back for some other, other, other jobs. I still need to get my uh, main sewer line figured out, but he don't have a camera. He says he's been, been wanting to get one, but he says they're like, you know, five, six grand. And uh, they are five, six grand. I looked it up, so they're pretty fucking expensive. Well... Yeah, they're yeah, you because know, they're pretty high tech too. So can't get the low tech ones; they don't work very well. So, but whatever. He said, hopefully, maybe by July or something like that, he'll have one, which I kind of doubt. I might end up having to call a different plumber. There's there's another plumber that I can call and see if he's got one of those. He at least he could come down and run a camera down the pipe and see where exactly it's broke at. He said that if you have to dig the whole thing up, that costs money. He says it's better to just replace that section or to find that broken piece and replace it. Or I mean, if the whole thing is shot, then you got to obviously rip the whole thing out and replace it. But if it's just that bad section, you know, then just splice in it, you know, splice in a new one. But you have to have a camera to know exactly where it's at. Well, he don't have one. So I might end up calling another plumber um, just, you know, have them look at it. Just have them snake it with the camera and figure out what the hell's wrong with it. Then once I know where it is, I'll call my other, my main plumber back and I'll have him do it. So, because I, I like this guy. He seems, he, he seems pretty smart. I don't think, he acts like he doesn't really like his job, but, I don't know, he's probably so busy all the time that he just can't keep up with everyone. So... And I want to pay my bill off. I want to get it paid off before I have to call him back for another one. Because if you just keep calling him all the time, the bill just keeps fucking growing. So, I haven't gotten the bill yet for when he sh when he showed up to fix the washer hoses. So, I don't know what that'll cost. But it probably won't cost much. But, I want to pay that bill off. Get that bill out of the way. And then I'll call him back for the other jobs. But, you know, whatever. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll probably take off. Um, I am going to keep you guys updated on this, this private land bullshit. And, uh, yeah, I'll just keep, keep you guys updated, I guess. Like I said, I haven't heard anything today, so, I'm not sure if they called my grandma yet or not, but I think she would have called me and told me, but I don't know. But, yeah. So, and I know it's too that a lot of people have been liking the video. I think that video's got like 11... 11, 12 likes already, so that's pretty good. I, have, I, I haven't seen likes like that in a long time. I've only had like, for a while there I was only having like one or two, but now lately I've been having like six or seven, and now I'm, this video I got like 12, so. I guess someone someone's on my side, so. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I guess I'll probably take off. I um, just wanted to let you guys know all the stuff that I ordered. Um, like I said, all the links and stuff will be below. So you guys can check her out. I'll put the links to everything. Besides that, because that's not... That's junk. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just some Belcor crap. But, yeah, i got to get some new stuff. So, yeah. Is that cooled off yet? Uh, it's still a little warm, but it ain't going to melt nothing. So, yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to take off. So, I guess, uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah. Take your easy guys, thanks for watching.